welcome! Last time we did a character controller that looked like this. And today we want to take this character controller and change it so that we can have a weapon, we can shoot and have a really simple and basic shooting mechanic, but it will be pretty easy. But time is rare, so let's get started. 1909 games. Let's make games. Today we want to make our character to be able to shoot at stuff. Pretty easy, right? And we want to make it with bold, like the rest of the series. Of course, I mean, it's a bold tutorial series, so I don't know what you expected. But let's make it pretty easy for the beginning. You know, we can do advanced stuff after that, but let's start pretty easy. And if you want to see more of that, please write me in the comments, what should I do next? You know, what do you want to see? That's the most important thing for me. I want to give you a good content. You know, I want to give you what you want to see, you know? So do you want to see like more advanced weapons? more jumping, more little, little, anything, write it in the comments and I will make a video about that. And if you haven't seen the first video, then just click here and you can make the basic character controller and, you know, after that come back to this video. But now let's get into Unity. Last time we did a character controller where we can walk and look around and that was all. But today let's make him shoot, you know. So, as you see, we have the player and we have a gun. And we have a red box that is the enemy in our case, you know. And we want the gun to shoot at the box or the player, so but from the gun, you know. And for that we need a ray cast, that's a straight line. And that detects if we shoot something. That's all, you know, that that's, sounds pretty simple and it is not too hard. And if we hit something, we want to destroy whatever we hit if it is not the ground. <laughs> but first, let's make a crosshair. For that we make a canvas. And on this canvas, let's make a little image with a crosshair that I just prepared. You can, you know, make it by your own or just put a point or I don't know. Just make a crosshair, you know. And set the canvas to scale with screen size and whatever screen size you want. You just type in. I take a 4K resolution in this case. And as you see, we have a crosshair moving with the character. So it's, it's not really moving. It's just <laughs> still, you know. And I prepared a little gun. In Blender in about two minutes or something. So look, it's a beautiful gun and I put it as a child of the camera and like this it's, it's moving with the camera. Awesome. Pretty easy. And let's make a little, you know, particle system in front of the, you know, where, where the bullets come out, you know, in front of the gun and make a new flow machine, make it embedded and delete the start function because we don't need it today. We just need the update function and that is pretty simple this start because we just want to debug whatever we hit. So for debug whatever we hit just type in debug.log and if you see the debug.log choose a message you know we want a message we want to see what do you hit you know and next we want to get an button down and this button will be the fire one button. This is defined as, for example, the left mouse button. So if you click the left mouse button, you will have the get button down. You know, you, you activate the get button down. And we want a branch because we want to see if the button is, you know, getting down. <laughs> and if it is true, so if we press the button, we want to go to the next stage. And that is to, you know, activate the particle system and the particle system we choose uh, the particle system we just did before um, you can make it like you wanted to make it you know I don't want to go deeper into particle systems right now so just let's say make a particle system and put it in front of the gun and then we want to make a ray cast a ray cast is a line between a point you define in a direction you know in this case we, we make a direction and so we have here the origin, so from what point we want to shoot, then the direction, so yeah, you know what direction, and the maximum distance, so how far you can shoot. For that, we will search for the main camera, and we want to get the main camera component. And we want to get, at first, the position and the forward axis. And we want to connect both of these with our origin and with our direction of the raycast. So pretty easy, right? Now we have a raycast 
pointing in the direction you are looking. And so we can see if we hit something or if we don't hit something. And next we make a new variable and that will be the variable for the distance. And the distance, you know, will be a float and let's set it at first at 100 to, you know, j just have a number there, how far you want to be able to shoot and drag and drop it into your field there and connect it to your maximum distance. So like this, we cannot shoot infinite long, so we can shoot just like, you know, 100 meters or make 2000 to make it really, whatever you want, you know. And I did a little mistake, we need a raycast where we have the target. So just change it if you have done the same mistake or like, you know, if you, <laughs> you know, I did the mistake, I'm sorry. <laughs> Next, we need a branch to see if we are detecting something or not, if there is nothing. And if it is true, something will happen. If it is false, nothing will happen. So it's basically a bool, true or false. And next, let's make a unit with the raycast.collider.get. You know, we want to get the uh, collider. And so what do we hit? You know, wh which object, which collider, from which object do we hit? And we need the game object.get. So we get the collider and we get after that, the game object, you know, that we hit. So then let's connect both and connect the get object with the debug.log. So like this, we can see what do we just shoot at, you know? So we press, you know, the particle is coming. And if we hit this box, you see cube three, cube five, cube four, cube two, cube, you know, and if we, go into the, or if you shoot into the air, nothing is happening, you know? And like this, we see that it works. You know, we see, okay, it is working. We, we can shoot at different things. It is moving with you, everything's right. So, perfect. Next step is to destroy the game object that we just, you know, hit. <laughs> so, let's connect the game object with a destroy unit and, you know, make it, you know, put, put it in between there so that it is happening. In between and when we now press we destroy the game object of course you can go way further with that and make a health system and so on but today we just want to make a little you know a little shooting mechanic that's pretty simple and we can shoot the ground as you see and that's not good you know we, we, we don't want to shoot the ground because then we fall and fall and eh, that's not good that's not how physics work and because of that we want to see if what we hit got an attack attack like enemy so if it get attack like enemy, then let's destroy it. And if we have no tag, you know, if it is not tagged with enemy, then nothing will happen. Then we just shoot, you know. And then let's make another branch. And let's connect our first branch with the game object and branch. And as you see, we can shoot boxes, but we cannot shoot the ground. But we can shoot boxes, but not the ground. And yeah, <laughs> that's pretty easy. And let's make another particle system because we don't see where we shoot, you know? We see the object in, in the console, but we need we need to see where we hit. And for that, we make a little particle system. I make a pretty quick one right here. It's, it's nothing, you know, special. You can make it way, way more beautiful, <laughs> you know? And let's... Insti, 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 you know what I mean? Just, just write what I write. <laughs> and game object. And with the position and rotation and so on. And let's put it in. And then what we want is to, you know, it's the, you know what I mean? <laughs> it's the, the boom. You know, the boom is a particle system we just did. And we wanted to have it on the position that is a point where we have the raycast hit whatever you know you want to have the get point of the ray cast where we hit something at the position and make an euler angle just that you know that the rotation is there and just after that connect it to to the branch and delete the other connection so like this we now see that we have uh, you know, a gun that shoots and have some particles that are really not that nice, but we see where we shoot, you know, we see where we hit something. That's pretty good, you know? 
And as you see, it's working. It's just working really fine. I I think that's a pretty, pretty simple mechanic, you know? You can go way further with, with reloading, animation and so on, but that's the basics. Thank you for watching. I hope you could learn a little bit out of that and you know how to make a really basic shooting mechanic. And if you want to see more, then write me in the comments what do you want to see. And I have a series where I do a horror game at the moment. And if you don't want to miss that, here is a playlist. And please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. That would help me a lot, you know, really a lot. So thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.